In the Squid Game, you'll be learning one of Illustrator's most powerful tools that will make your life much easier when working with illustrations. Stay tuned. Hey you, hope you're having a fantastic day, it's Rupin from Jam and today I'll be showing you how you can quickly change the colors of an illustration using the magical recolor artwork tool in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure whatever it is that you want to modify is right in front of you and tag along. Make sure before you begin you have a duplicate of whatever you're going to recolor just in case you needed the original colors again because if you lose it that's gonna be a lot of damage. Select everything with the selection tool and click on the circular recolor artwork icon on top here. Now if you're using the newest version of Illustrator, this window is going to show up. On older versions, you'll get a more detailed window, which I'll show you near the end of the video. Both of them are quite similar, however there is one main function that is missing in the older versions. Basically, this window contains all of your color data in your illustration. If we choose Lock Color Harmony down here and move things around, you'll start to see that our illustration's color is changing, and at the same time maintaining the contrast and using the complementary color ratio that I used in the main colors. If you click reset here on top, you'll get back to the default state. I think this is also missing in the previous Illustrator versions. At the bottom of the window, you'll also find the two settings that control both the saturation and the lightness of the colors. Cool, you now know how to tweak around the colors in Illustrator, but what if you want to use a specific color palette? Now you'll see at the bottom that I have a random color palette that I want to apply to my illustration. In order to apply it, I'll first select all the colors together, then go into swatches and click on this new color group icon and then click OK. Lovely, to apply it onto our illustration again, go inside of the recolor artwork section and head over to the color library. Here you have a bunch of styles to choose from, to find the one that we just created head over to the color group and you should find it there. Now there are two buttons here that randomize the color order and the color values. Click randomize order a couple of times until you get something pleasing to the eye. Great, now let me show you what else you can do in the color library. You have a bunch of different combinations there, waiting for you to click on them, just go and explore the amount of different color combinations there, you'll probably just get lost in the colors. Once you get bored of this, there's this new feature only available on the latest Illustrator versions that is literally going to blow you away. What this feature does is basically it copies the color data from any image you found anywhere on the internet and it applies it accordingly to your own illustration and it works like magic. This is extremely useful, especially for beginners who struggle with color a lot and I think it's one of the best ways you can also generate color palettes from an image that you like. Now if you want to edit a specific color's value in detail, go to advanced settings and pick that specific color and start playing with the hue, saturation and lightness. This window is the one available in older versions of Illustrator, however it is as effective but it lacks one of the best features of recolor artwork which is color theme picker. I don't think it's a deal breaker, you can still pick colors from your image and add it to the swatches like we did earlier in the video and find your way. That's it for this video, I hope you found it helpful and peace out.